Thanksgiving just passed in the United States. Alana, do you have a, a Thanksgiving-style holiday in Australia? Nope. Nope. I have no idea what Thanksgiving is. Okay, so Thanksgiving. Like, you're arriving on Thanksgiving. Are you going to do anything for it? I'm like, should, should I? You just eat, <laughs> you eat the biggest bird you can find. Yeah. See, we just do that for Christmas. Yeah. No. Yeah. Do you well, do we that do that again too. At yeah, we do that yeah, again yeah. at Christmas. Oh, okay. In 1864, like two at, you at the him? very end of the American Civil War, mm-hmm. uh, when it was clear that the Union was in fact going to win the thing, Abraham Lincoln proclaimed a national day of Thanksgiving. And hmm. uh, now every year we get together and eat a lot and watch football and sleep. It's like a thing about turkey. Uh, yeah, turkey is the, the traditional Thanksgiving food because it's a native North American bird and it's big so you can feed, you know, a whole host family. of human beings with it. So it but is really just an, an eating holiday. It is. It's an you don't eating. buy presents or anything? Uh, no. no presents. I have no idea what it is. No, it's, 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 it's dedicated okay. to... <laughs> <laughs> hang, at least I do. Hang, you hang out with friends and family, yeah. eat a lot... Uh, and then people like on motor each other over religious sales inclination, the next day. play, you know, th- be thankful for what you're what you got there in some yeah. way or another. And then the next day, everyone goes out and yes, does Motors horrible shopping things. Sales. Yeah, see, that, that would totally just be our Christmas, but we don't. Oh no, no, we do have uh, Boxing Day sales in Australia. Actually, oh, we don't get Boxing yeah, Day. We, have Boxing we don't have day that. Sales. Oh. oh, really? No, there's no Boxing Day in America. Oh. Yeah. Well, but, I mean, you have Thanksgiving. You have, Thanksgiving. You have yeah. two Christmas. Right, we have two Christmas. <laughs> I so think, I think you can settle without Boxing Day. That's true. We do. We, <laughs> we, we do Monday, have that. We don't have that either. I mean, it's, uh, it's, crazy. Like it's all yet. crazy. It's like, it. Well, it's now you're right. here. Welcome Never to the be. land of consumerism. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to commerce. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, if that Thanksgiving thing happened. Uh, so, in honor of Thanksgiving, what are you thankful for in Fallout, my friends? This is easily the dopiest question of the episode. Cats and Curie. Cats and cats and the white cats. There, there's cats. There are cats. There are just cats. find them. I have a settlement that has a cat, and it just makes me so happy. Did you go on the mission where you have to go find a kitten? Yes, I did. You did? Did you I find the really kitten? I was really happy. I, I like, booked it. I was like, we got to find this cat. Mm-hmm. I cannot die. Everything else stops yeah. now. Yeah. My, my son doesn't matter. Just this cat. <laughs> just this cat. Got to rescue the little girl's kitten. It's, uh, yeah. I was just like, are you really sending me to rescue a little girl's kitten, Fala? And I'm yes. so happy. Yes, sir. So By the way, if you are asked to go find that kitten, do find it. the kitten. Do, do find, it. Do it. Who wouldn't it's very do important. That, that uh, person would be like, nah. Yeah, some people hate cats. Yeah, some oh, people hate sure. cats. Some people are like, this is a dumb mission. Go find that cat. It's, Marty it's is allergic worth to cats. It. Um, what's I'm that? Allergic. Marty is allergic. I'm allergic <laughs> to cats, but I still find the cat. Oh. Now, Marty is allergic to cats. So yeah, I'm allergic to cats. everything. Oh, you're, are you badly allergic? Uh, yeah, fairly. Yeah. 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 All right, I so. mean, I can I can have a cat touch me, but if it gets anywhere near my face, it's a bad time. <sighs> so mm. now we know how. Uh, ex- how to disable yeah, me? Ex- yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is helpful. Just I'm, throw a cat at my I'm face. I'm very weak at physical combat, so I've got to I've got to you know okay, touch these things away. All right. So much for and best then friends. Find me. Excellent. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> so how good is Wasteland? <laughs> Dan, what about you? Uh, what are you thankful for? I'm, I'm, I'm thankful I haven't hit any major bugs. Yeah. Like, it, mm. like it, it could be, you know, a pretty bad time from, you know, losing save progress or something like that. I Like, I know people who've had corrupted saves, uh, which would be which would be a, a Terrible. major bummer. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, you seem more familiar with a lot of the big bugs than I am. What are, what are some of them? Some of the I worst mean, ones. I, yeah, I mean, I've... Mine have uh, all just been glitches. There's uh, there's one where uh, you get your vis- your vision permanently blurred. What? Mm, yeah, I've heard about this. Yeah, mm. so mm-hmm. that's, that's, no, that's no good. So uh, even if you reload a save. Yeah. yeah wow. So there's one where you can, you can get locked into a, a, an animation where you're kind of, for lack of a better term, um, humping a, a terminal. Uh, yep. And uh, just cannot escape from the animation. Uh, you, you get locked down into that. You, uh, you can load a save yeah, earlier, yeah. but if you've been sploppy with your quick saves, you'll Forever lose an hour of play. Guys, save yeah. your so, game. Save yeah. it a yeah. bunch. So, so, I mean, here's the thing. Like, with, with a game like this, A, it's super complicated. A bunch of different things that, like, it's virtually impossible to figure to test every permutation of things you can do in what order. So it's like, yeah, there are going to be bugs. Also, there are, you know, more than 10 million people playing this game. Yeah. So you're you're going to have a bunch of horror stories where yeah. a bunch of people it's like are going to... like the Assassin's Creed Unity story where yeah. if, if, people if, didn't have faces, but it wasn't actually that many people. It's just the disaster went viral. Yeah, I, I mean, when, when you think about it, uh, you've got say you've got 10 million people playing a game. If 0.1% of those people mm-hmm. ha- hit a horrible bug, like that's a lot that's of people a lot of yeah. that, that are having a terrible time and they're going to be real mad about it and tell everybody they can about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and and Thanks, rightfully internet. so. <laughs> rightfully so. They oh, should. Yeah. You, yeah, you yeah. have a right to complain bad, when, you're, when you pay money for something and it doesn't work. You have a right to be mad about well, it. Well, I mean, well then there's this. But if you draw if you draw that short straw, it's it's like that the, the problem is like people people infer from that like you know, they see these very visible bugs that people are very mad about, and they think oh it's broken for everybody, yeah. um, and it, it's it's not. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's buggier than than 
everyone would like, I think. Mm-hmm. But um, but it's not horribly broken. I do I do find it a weird thing where Bethesda seems to have ex- escaped the uh, glitch criticism, like. There's always bugs in Bethesda games. Oh, no, I don't think so at all. Well, people don't seem to care that, you know, dog meat gets stuck in walls I mean, all the time. I think people do, but it's just not the same criticism you'd see with Unity because I think there's a difference with the brands. Like, okay, it's just actually, that. talking about, like, Assassin's Creed, if someone gets stuck inside something, I still find it funny, and I don't really complain <laughs> Yeah, like, about it, it may just varies from person to person, like, yeah, what you care about. I feel like it's just about. Bethesda doesn't... People aren't as aggressive when a Bethesda game has... Like a graphical glitch. A lot of people are. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm it, sure. It, it I probably depends. just avoid yeah. those kinds of people. Yeah, yeah. The, the, <laughs> the reviewer was was yeah. subject to, to a lot of conversation about this. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, and, it, and you know, again, it, like, like you said, it depends on on what that person cares about. Yeah. If you if you're really looking for a very polished experience where everything happens the way you expect it to, um, then good luck. Well, yeah, then, then like thing, things <laughs> are not always part, things are not always going to go smoothly in Fallout. Yeah, but like for for me, like if I see something something out of whack sometimes, and, or like a physics glitch where somebody goes flying across the the, the horizon, it's, it's like, totally well, fine. that that was yeah, kind, totally that's kind funny. of hilarious. Yeah. So as oh. as long as it doesn't prevent me from progressing, uh, then I'm I'm still enjoying myself for the most part. And as long as it's not yeah. constant and distracting, the, yeah. I, I, I swear it's just old DNA for me from being a PC guy for so long and just being used to games not working for like 20 years of DOS. Uh, and, and I'm just like, oh, happy nostalgic feeling. It's broken. I, I don't know. Alana, you, you don't you look have, at it fondly. Yeah, that's it. I, I, Alana, you don't have uh, Australian uh, or don't have Thanksgiving in Australia, but do you have anything to be thankful for in Fallout? You know, I'm actually going to say uh, in direct relation to the fact that I moved here like a few days ago, I am going to say dog meat because I had to leave my one-year-old Labrador. Oh, yeah, it's so and, young. Oh, dude, she's so young and she's so beautiful and it's no. so sad. So I had to leave her behind because the whole getting a dog and having them in quarantine for three months is just incredibly cruel. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah, three months and you're not yeah. allowed to see them the whole time. That's ridiculous. I know, it's yeah. awful. It's so awful. You so that's just, why I didn't bring her over. You should just pull a Johnny Depp and smuggle it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he nearly got kicked out of the country. But, yeah. but uh, yeah, so I've actually found comfort in dog meat in that way that it's like having a dog back because, you know, FaceTiming an animal just isn't quite the same. <laughs> oh, Lana. It's yeah. the saddest did, thing. Did you see that, that somebody uh, reskinned dog meat to, to look like their own dog? Oh, I should do that. No, I'll just start <laughs> crying. I'll just, like, weep oh. while I'm, like, what's patting your, this dog. What's your dog's name? Chelsea. Oh, but we Chelsea. call it Chell. Which yeah. I'm very happy about because my family has now unintentionally made a portal reference that they've all <laughs> ah, just gone that's with. Marvelous. And like, yeah, her name's Chill. That's great. Yeah. <sighs> Does your current place allow dogs? Yeah, so I live with uh, Max. Oh. So have you met Peppers? Yeah. Yeah, so oh, I live with yeah. Peppers Scoville. Okay. Little Pomeranian. Peppers um, great. Yeah, Peppers is lovely, but I still like way prefer big dogs because it's so much more cuddly. So I'm trying to see if we can maybe get a big dog there. Okay. But we'll see how that goes. <laughs> you know, at this point, Max could open a hotel, I think. That's, he may that's as well. There's a yeah, lot of people amazing. living in his basement <laughs> and a bunch of animals. And, yeah. and Jared, how about you? What are you thankful for? Uh, yeah. In Fallout, I, I'm thankful for a game that I can play slash write about slash make videos about for, at this point, probably a couple of hundred hours. <laughs> and I'm still not talking tired of it. Yeah. That's very rare. Yeah. I'm thankful that there's just a big, giant, interesting world to explore. I'm so, so sick. Back on the guy. exploration. Yeah, yeah, How good is it, though? Yeah. Are you a guy that, that restarts uh, Fallout every so often, or do, do you stick? Do you create one character and stick with it? Uh, I'm good. For the purposes of this project, I'm sticking with one character now. I actually created two because I started on PS4 and switched to PC. Mm-hmm. Um, but when this is all done, I will make a new character and start over. I have um, issues with that, and then I get too attached to the the narrative like the narrative that I've led and the side quests that I've done and the, the story that I told with that one character that going to another character feels like I'm betraying them it's like I'm yeah. cheating on them and I'm just like no 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 I have I have this history with this person and I don't want to do it with someone else and I just I just can't ever bring myself to to start like a Fallout game over unless it was exactly the same character I'm excited Even- for like a new play style but it's also just weird. It's like you're not, you're not yeah. Felicia. It just doesn't <laughs> feel right. Yeah. Even years later, does it still feel weird? Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, yeah but but I that. often will revisit my Fallout Three save file. Like I intentionally mm-hmm. left some of those side quests and didn't finish them. So every now and then I will go back and, and play some of it, so that I'm still having that journey forever with that character. Like one of my favorite games is Banjo Tooie, and I refuse to finish it. <laughs> one to be left, oh, not so doing it. We've for, gone for from either. best friends to I don't know. Now it's Banjo Tooie and you Fallout Three. Like Banjo <laughs> For me, wasteland I, means nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I, I like to I like to restart uh, games like you know, RPGs in particular. Like after I finish the main quest, 
Uh, I don't. I don't have a huge interest in. How do you have continue. time to do that? I, I don't always. No, but, <laughs> I'm like, oh man. But I, I, I don't have a huge interest in continuing to to play after I've beaten the main quest. Right. Uh, because I want to go back and and experience things a different way. Hmm. Uh, like you know, see see what would happen if I had done things differently. Got you know, gone left when I could when I went right the first time. Yeah. Uh, you know, see it from a female perspective instead of the male perspective. See, that's when I reload my saves. Right, but I, would, I just can't <laughs> restart the whole I thing. Don't, I don't want to be godlike, powerful in these games. True. Uh, yeah. I, I want it. That's to be, definitely a problem. I want it to be an uphill battle. I want to, you know, have have different tools to work through the same problems with, but I don't want to have all the tools. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I understand that. Well, you run into this, especially with the old ones. I mean, Fallout 1 is practically race to the power armor, and once you know what you're doing. And, yeah, uh, and yeah, you can, you can speed run those games once, you, once you know what's going on. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's uh, so that, that that definitely does present a problem of being overpowered. Also in the old games, though, your, your character distinct builds matter more. Like, yeah. tr- mm-hmm. you play very yeah. differently. Yeah. yeah. But, like, in, put in the old games, like, I think... Uh, and in this game too, like trying to trying to find shortcuts to, to get more powerful more quickly, uh, and so so that you kind of you skip ahead uh, is is a fun thing to do. Mm-hmm. Like it is, yeah, it provides a challenge. And yeah, it, yeah, it's it's just you know be, a lot of things have been left there for us to find, and yeah. finding those is interesting. Yeah, but so, there's some of the weapons. Like after I got the um, big boy. I had to save up to get that. And then after I got it, I didn't use it that much because it was so powerful that I was like, you know what, I don't actually want to blow you to smithereens. It's just like every now and <laughs> yeah. then I'll pull it out. And I haven't got the alien blaster yet. Oh, okay. But is that another one that's extremely powerful uh, in this the, one? the nice one with that is the ammo is so limited that there's very little you can yeah. do with it. But yeah. it is there. And it, yeah, it's I, good I like for... that about it in Fallout 3 as well when it yeah. was limited because then every time that you shoot something with it, it's another one of those moments of desperation where I'm addicted to all of the drugs in the game. <laughs> and I got, I got my alien blaster and I've like, used all my stealth boys. And I'm just like, oh, alien blaster time. No, I, like, I liked how they handled the alien blaster in this one. I won't, I won't spoil that yet. We'll no, I definitely there. want to go on a quest yeah, to I find that. Found it, but okay. I overheard in the office where it is. I was like, oh, oh no, yeah. I'm glad I didn't yeah. hear that. <laughs> <laughs>